did you ever thought that uh, Bayer will uh, cover the over 3.5 goals at halftime uh, last week after halftime? Yeah, Bayer I, I, Stuttgart yeah, zero zero. To... You thought? No, I try, no, I try to stay balanced and not get ahead of myself because the likes of Bayern, the likes of Real Madrid, the likes of uh, who else can do it? Uh, Inter Milan, they score for or AC Milan. They score three goals in like eight minutes because they all of a sudden they just grow before your very eyes and become a different side. It's always that first goal. As soon as they get that first goal, it all goes. The big one for me was the Stuttgart didn't score. But um, back to under or over three goals in this game, though. Heidenheim, plus 125. Host Hoffenheim, plus 200. Another German Jekyll and Hyde side draw. Plus 265. Kramerich scoring for the visitors is a, a big possibility. Heidenheim scored two. Hoffenheim scored two. So the over three at minus 115, Stefan. Looks like where you want to start in this game. It's where I would start and probably where I would end as well, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, <laughs> Heid <laughs> Heidenheim have um, struggled for form recently. Uh, they've lost, lost two of the last games. Uh, and Hoffenheim, who we talked about last week, I think someone asked about that hoffenheim Bochum game last weekend and why we didn't put p picks on it. And I said, because it was two head coaches up against it to see whoever wins, the other one loses their job. And that's exactly what happened where Bochum lost and Ziegler was uh, sent marching. Um, Hoffenheim obviously won that game tightly um, and they might have some sort of wind in their sails even though 2-0 defeat to Porto midweek might have kind of taken some of that out of it but I think they'll go into this game kind of thinking they can have a chance at it and why not you know Heidenheim have obviously struggled for form but I think what's probably really important to bear in mind is just how many goals both these teams have scored and conceded Heidenheim have scored 12 and conceded 11 in 7 games and Hoffenheim have scored 13 and conceded 17 uh, so we're talking about two teams here who don't have any kind of coherent plan in attack or defence, uh, which is a bit of a shame because Heidenheim did very well last season with a far better kind of system, better tactics. I, th I think they're really struggling with a few key players who've moved on this summer. Um, but yeah, I, I, this game could really go either way. As I said, Hoffenheim might have that confidence from beating Bochum last season. Uh, Matarazzo might be building up momentum. Um, I think we said before the international break that he really needed that international break to kind of get that team back together. Maybe they've done that against Bochum and they'll show it again in this game. Uh, or we might see Heidenheim say, look, we really need to stop the rot here. And we're a bit unlucky against Gladbach last weekend. Let's make sure we, we fix this. And so I, I think that's very unpredictable. And I think the only way that you can really look for any value in this game is uh, looking at uh, team goals or uh, total goals. And as you said, the over three is probably the most enticing one. Yeah, I think we start at three. Or you could or break this down into uh, different periods of the game. First half, Hoffenheim could be 1-0 up very early on. Heidenheim are going to throw the kitchen sink anyway. So over one goal first half could be a way to go. Uh, I do like Kramerich. I think that he is starting to find himself in the right areas now because he got away from being an out and out goal scorer to thinking he was then the assist merchant uh, which is no good for his centre forward when you need him in the whip for the goals in the opposing box Hyde and I are going to give him chances I think he scores and funnily enough as I was saying that Mitch was then saying yeah Kramerich anytime goal scorer plus 200 Alex yeah my uh, anytime goal scorer <laughs> video will appear in like one hour it's filmed and they're ready for edit and yes, it has Kramaric inside, just a small from the four for uh, anytime goal scorers. Kramaric is priced at plus 205 right now, which is a great price. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that uh, Heidenheim will have a shot here after uh, Hoffenheim played a decent game against Porto. They had their chances. Uh, they were about to score also. Uh, they missed some good opportunities. But it was uh, done from the start of the match because we are playing, uh, talking about Porto right now. I don't think that they have the squad uh, to, to fight uh, again the same old story on two uh, different uh, competitions at the same level. So uh, it's crazy to see uh, a, B a Bundesliga side that is sitting 14th in, uh, in, uh, in the domestic competition playing in the European competitions, right? What Hoffenheim is doing is one of those teams. Heidenheim, yes, uh, four games uh, out of five, four, four defeats out of five games. I think that uh, they are expecting a, a good uh, bounce back match in this one. And um, you are spot on, both of you, with the over, and I'm going with the over three at minus 115. 
and I think that uh, we can also go um, for because I, I'm expecting goals early in the game. We can also go for over 1.5 goals at halftime at plus 130. I don't know. I have this feeling. Yeah, I can see it being 1-1. Uh, I don't see it being 2-0. I just couldn't tell you who's actually going to score. But I think both teams would be thinking that the, the chances of them keeping clean sheets are slim and none. And none has left town. So, yeah. Flash, Flash can I offer one more, uh, just one more point on that, if that's yeah, okay? Uh, just to add on to the anytime goal score, I would also suggest Paul Vanner as well, potentially. Uh He's shown this season that he can score against lesser sides. He scored against St. Pauli. He scored against Haken in the Cup, against Augsburg, uh, and then in in the Europa League against a poor team. And he's came on. He's came up short against better teams. You know, he struggled against Leipzig, struggled against Freiburg, struggled against Dortmund. So this kind of game makes me think. Uh, this is the kind of game I think would be his bread and butter. He's shown that against lesser teams, he knows how to score goals. He's still a young player. He's still learning his trade. So you know, it's not a bad thing by any means. Uh, but this is the kind of game that he typically tends to score for Heidenheim. So maybe an anytime goal scorer on him. Uh, as, as as Alex says, some beer money if you have in your back pocket might be worth throwing on him. Yeah, listen. Uh, I think that Bundesliga, out of the four leagues I've covered this week is the only place where I can actually put my hand on my heart and say there will be goals. I think the Premier League, outside of the Man City game, is going to be absolutely shocking. I think there's going to be a really? lot of... Oh, yeah, yeah. Lo, no, not many goals in the Premier League this week for me. Obviously, go and watch the Premier League show. Not you, Alex, but obviously I'm talking to the audience. Um, that's the same, same in Italy uh, and the same in Spain other than the uh, El Clasico. I really think that there's going to be a real... Uh, don't you, th don't you think, Flash, that is... Uh... But yeah, the line is uh, way too big. Uh, Chelsea, Newcastle. Yeah, you're right. No, but Chelsea could win one again. Go and w watch the uh, Premier League show. I'm going. I, I will go, Flash. Yes, Thank I will you. go. And leave, leave, and leave a Premier comment. League game. Leave man. a comment. Exactly. Leave a comment and obviously thumbs up. I Chelsea. will. Thank, Thank you. you. I will much. do that, Flash. Thank you. And while you do that, I will then have a, give everyone your pick in this game over free at minus one one five. Uh, and if you do, do follow uh, Bet US on Instagram or TikTok, you'll see Alex very very soon uh, with his uh, free anytime goal scorers in Bundesliga, which is an added. Bonus as well. Uh